ladies. Welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather, and I'm super excited about today's video. I'm going to be covering how to wear shorts over 40. Specifically, I'm going to be giving you guys eight style tips in order to look chic when you wear shorts. I get this question a ton. I get questions like, how should I style my shorts? Is it appropriate to wear shorts if I'm in my 40s or in my 50s? And my answer is yes, but you always have to ask yourself this question. Do you feel confident and comfortable when you wear your shorts? If the answer is no, then by all means, you certainly do not have to wear shorts. But hopefully in this video, I'm going to be sharing some amazing looks to inspire you, some different ways to style shorts, some ways to definitely take them up to the next level. So stay tuned for all of these amazing looks. Now, if that sounds good to you, Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by hitting that little subscribe button as well as the bell notification button because I do publish two new videos every single week. Now make sure you listen to this entire video because the last tip is my personal favorite tip. It's one that I swear by. It's something that I use every single time I wear shorts and it's actually my all time favorite beauty product. So definitely listen to this entire video. So every outfit that I'm talking about will be linked down below in my description box as well as sizing information just so you guys can use that as a reference. Also, if anything is ever on the expensive side, I will always be linking a steel version as well because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. All right, tip number one when wearing shorts is balance is key. So what that means is since you're going to be showing your legs because you're obviously wearing a pair of shorts, you want to make sure that you balance out the look by covering up your arms on the top portion of your body. Also, you could pick a top that is a little bit on the baggier side, like an oversized button down, an oversized sweater, because that really balances out the look. The last thing you would want to do is wear like a skin tight top, maybe like a sleeveless top with some short shorts in some heels. Like this would look like you were trying way too hard. So what I always do when I wear shorts is I either wear a jacket or a long sleeve top or like a top with three quarter sleeves. Or if it is short sleeve, I make sure it's like an oversized top. And I just think that does a great job of balancing out the look when you're wearing shorts. So the look I want to talk about with this tip is this really cool ivory sweater. It has this really tastefully sexy cutout on the shoulder. It is very comfortable. It's very sort of like casual and effortless. This is off of the Revolve website. I love just tucking it in in the front. It kind of creates a very relaxed, effortless feel. This sweater is very lightweight, so even though it does have sleeves, I love to kind of push them up. It's not like a very heavy sweater that's gonna make you hot or anything like this if you did choose to wear it in the spring and summer months. What I paired it with are these A Gold E D shorts. These are black. So I think these are a very unique take on your typical, you know, blue denim cutoffs being a really cool faded black color. These are more of an edgy option, I think, which I personally love because my style is a bit on the edgy side. Now these do come in the blue version, which I will be featuring later on in the video. These are absolutely my favorite silhouette of denim cutoffs and let me tell you why. Number one, they are high waisted. So, so they're going to make your legs look longer and you look slimmer and even taller possibly. Number two, they're a little bit longer than say your average denim cutoff. So I feel like they're more age appropriate. I just think the fit is perfect. They're not too short in the back. They definitely come, you know, at least a good four inches below your bottom, which I think is key. The worst thing you can do is wear shorts that are too short and too tight. Like that is definitely a fashion, you know, faux pas. So don't do that. Um, but these shorts are phenomenal. They were so good that last year they sold out completely, but they are now restocked in all sizes on the Revolve website. So if you love them as much as I do, definitely like pause the video and order them now because they will sell out, I promise. Mm -hmm. Then I just did these really cool gold chain sandals. These are flat sandals by Stella McCartney. I have featured them on my channel before, but they were so good. I thought I'd feature them again because you guys are always asking me like, Heather, show us some really cool flats. Like I can't wear heels. So if you're one of those people that you don't love to wear heels, well, these are some amazing sandals, very fashion forward, even a bit edgy. I love the mixture of the gold and silver chain 
on these sandals. It makes them just kind of really cool and they just go with everything. In fact, they're so amazing that my fellow influencer and dear friend, Sam of Style of Sam got these sandals and so did my friend Kathy of The Middle Page. So these are well loved by influencers. I, I know that I will be wearing these all spring and summer long. They're just fabulous. Now they are definitely a bit expensive because they're by Stella McCartney. So I will be linking a steel version as well down below because again, I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. All right, tip number two is to add a third layer. So this is probably my favorite way to wear denim shorts. I just think it makes them more elevated, it makes them more polished, it makes them look a bit more sophisticated. I mean, I don't really think denim shorts can actually look sophisticated, but if there was a way, it would be adding a blazer. So that's typically how I wear my denim shorts. Of course, not like on the weekends when I'm just like running to the grocery store, I'll probably just wear like an oversized button down. But if I'm gonna dress them up, I will 99% of the time, throw on a third layer or a blazer because I just think it takes them up to the next level. So the look I wanna talk about with this tip is this really cool teal. It's like a smoky teal blazer. This blazer is a very high quality blazer, but it doesn't have the high quality price tag because it is from Express. I have featured it on my channel before, but I love it so much. I wanted to feature it again. It's a beautiful color. I love this color for spring and summer. The fit is amazing. The material is amazing. It's wrinkle free. It is a bit oversized, so it's very on trend. And because it's oversized, it actually creates a really well-balanced look when pairing it with shorts. As you can see from this look, I did a ivory sweater tank, the blue A-Gold ED shorts. So these are the same silhouette as the black ones in the previous video, but these are the blue version. Again, probably my favorite denim shorts in my closet. I love them because they're high-waisted and they are, you know, a little bit longer than your average cutoffs. I added a snake print belt and a really cool ivory hat to top off the look. This just really elevated the look. It dressed it up a bit. And then of course I did a low heel because if I'm going to wear shorts, I'm gonna make sure I always wear a low heel, like no more than three inches, because I think if you wear a high heel with shorts, you're gonna look like you're trying too hard. You're gonna look like you're, you know, just being a little bit, maybe not as age appropriate if you were to wear a low heel or a flat sandal of some sort. Even a sneaker looks really cool with shorts as well. Okay, here's another way to wear a blazer with your shorts. This is a tan blazer. It's an, another oversized blazer. It's by Bailey 44. I think it's sold out, but there's a really cool Anine Bean blazer that literally looks identical that I'll link down below. And then I just did a simple white bodysuit and then the same black A Gold E denim shorts and then like a two inch very low nude heel. That's another thing is I like to wear shoes that are either nude or like a light color because they tend to elongate your legs when you're wearing shorts versus like a black shoe, even though I don't mind the black Stella McCartney sandal with the shorts, but I will say I don't feel like my legs look as long with those shoes on because they are, you know, black. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're wearing shorts the next time you want to style your shorts. Okay, the last blazer look with shorts is this really cool ivory blazer. This is also from Express, so it's very reasonably priced. It is a bit oversized, so it's very on trend. It's like a linen blend, so it's very lightweight. But I will say this, being a linen blend, I thought maybe it would wrinkle. And I will say it wrinkles maybe just a little bit, but certainly not as bad as like a typical linen blazer, which is why I really loved it. Again, this neutral ivory shade, like literally goes with everything. And I thought it looked really cool topped over this all black look. So what I did is I did a black bodysuit by Skims. It's very comfortable, probably one of my most comfortable bodysuits. And then these shorts are also by A Gold E, but they're a new silhouette. They're a little bit different than the D short. They're called the Parker, but they're the long version of the Parker. So they still give you that extra length. And as you can see, they're cut up on the thigh, which I think kind of creates a really neat silhouette being higher on the outside of your thighs and lower on the inside of your thighs. So I do kind of like the way this looks. I also like the fact that they're a bit frayed at the bottom, so it makes them kind of very edgy. They're another faded black denim short, which makes them you know, more unique than just like your typical blue denim shorts. Again, they're high-waisted and I do absolutely love these shorts. I did a gold chain belt. This is by Valentino. I just recently got this 
and I absolutely love it. I did find another gold chain belt that's a fraction of the price that I will be linking down below as well. And then I did these really cool low heel. They're like a two inch snake print heel. They're a wrap heel, so they're very chic. I love them paired with shorts because they are such a low heel, as I said, and these are actually from Express, so the price point is amazing. They're like under $70, maybe $80, so very budget friendly. And again, this snake print, it's like a neutral print of like ivories and blacks and grays, so they literally go with everything. I love them with shorts, but they also look fabulous with dresses, skirts, and denim. Okay, tip number three, and I think this is probably one of the most important tips of all of the tips, and that is to always size up in your denim shorts. Again, like I said earlier, there's nothing worse than wearing denim shorts that are too small and too tight. That's probably my worst pet peeve in the fashion world is when I see a woman with shorts on that are too tight and too short. I don't care how old or how young you are, even if you're like 18 years old, there's no reason you should go around with a pair of tight cutoffs on and like the bottom of your butt hanging out. Like that is not sexy, that is not classy, that is not cool, and it is not chic and it's just awful so don't do that so my suggestion is to combat this is always size up one size in your shorts definitely because you never again want them to be too tight or too short also look look at the circumference of the material around the thighs and make sure that there is enough room around your thighs that it's almost you know creates a baggy silhouette because if the if the circumference around your thighs is bigger meaning the legs of the shorts are bigger than your thighs it's actually going to make your legs look smaller and all of the a gold e shorts featured in this video are definitely bigger um, around the thigh area and they're more roomy again creating that look that you want Okay, this look is a very easy look. This is a long sleeve, $55 white top. It's by Aster from Nordstrom. I absolutely love it. I really loved it paired with shorts because again, it has the sleeves. It's a bit oversized. It has a beautiful V neckline. It's very lightweight. You can kind of push up the sleeves. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but it does come in black too. So this $55 top I think would be worth getting in both colors because you can wear it with jeans, you can wear, wear it with shorts. And I just think it's very chic and easy and very effortless. And then I did the same A Gold E D shorts. I added a belt and then these are the studded Steve Madden sandals that are all the rage. They actually came out last summer, but they're still being seen all over Instagram. You know, tons of influencers wear them. They look like Valentino sandals, but they're under $100 because they're by Steve Madden. So I absolutely love these. I wear these a ton in the summer. So I would highly recommend adding these affordable and chic sandals to your shoe collection. Okay, tip number four is to always pair your shorts with a low heel or a pair of flats or sneakers. So a low heel to me is three inches or under. I would never pair a pair of shorts with like a four inch heel. I would do like a wedge for sure, but just not like a high, high heel. I think that creates a look that looks like you're just trying too hard. So the look I wanna feature with this tip is this amazing long black dress. It's like a button down dress. I did a video not too long ago styling this amazing sweater dress 10 different ways. So I will be linking that down below. But this dress is amazing. As you can see, you can unbutton it and wear it as a kimono. And I thought it looked really fantastic paired with shorts because it is long and it does cover my arms. So it creates a balanced look when I pair it with these really amazing a gold E shorts that are called the D shorts. Again, the high waisted, you know, denim shorts that are a little bit longer. And then I did the ivory sweater tank, the snake print belt. And then these are a very low um, heel. These are by, I think they're by um, Stodd. I'm not sure about that though, but the heel is like literally like two inches long. They're ivory, so they go with everything. They're a lighter color, so when you're wearing them, they are going to also make your legs look longer and slimmer. So I love this look. Like if you were going to a pool party or you're going to meet your girlfriends on the patio for a glass of wine, I just think this would be an incredibly chic look to wear. Okay, another uh, look paired with some low heels is the same teal blazer I had on earlier from Express. And then I did this 
the same teal bodysuit. So the blazer is teal, the bodysuit is teal. I love the fact that they were the same color. It sort of created this monochromatic combination that I really loved. And then I did the blue A gold E shorts and then the gold um, Valentino belt, which I love. I love this gold chain belt. It's definitely worth, worth the investment when I consider the cost per wear. And then I did do a low heel. So these are the same low snake print heels from Express. Again, the heel height is literally like two inches. So these are just phenomenal. Um, I love this look again for a date night, a girl's night out. It's just fabulous. But then you could also just throw on some sneakers or like some gold flat slides if you just wanted to go around running errands and you wanted to be very comfortable, but you also wanted to look incredibly chic. Like there's nothing better than adding a blazer to your denim shorts. It's just going to automatically elevate the look. Okay, tip number five is don't skip on the accessories when you're wearing shorts. So how do we make shorts look more polished? How do we make them look more sophisticated? Well, we add accessories. So definitely don't forget about adding a necklace or two or three like I have today. You know, always adding a belt, I think takes a denim short look to the next level. You can always even add a hat. I love this rag and bone ivory hat. It's one of my go-to hats in the spring and summer. I wear it a ton. I wear it by the pool. I wear it to the beach, but then I also wear it with my denim shorts and I always get tons of compliments on it. So the next time you wear some amazing denim shorts, add a necklace, add a belt, even a hat, and you will be guaranteed to take them to the next level. Okay, tip number six is to always tuck in your shirt. Even if you just do like a half tuck, I think when you tuck in your shirt, it's just going to elevate your look. It's going to take the denim shorts up to the next level. So I always will tuck in my shirt, even if it's just like I said, a half tuck when I'm wearing my denim shorts because I just think it takes the look up a few notches. It's also gonna accentuate your waistline, making you look taller and slimmer as well. So that's another little style tip to help you look like the best version of yourself when you're wearing denim shorts or shorts of any kind for that matter. Okay, the look I wanna talk about with this tip is an actual black top by frame and I just did the half tuck with this outfit. So I didn't tuck it all the way in, I just did the half tuck. It is a bigger top on the top portion. You can see it comes down, it covers you know, three quarters or half of my arm. It's a little bit oversized and it does have the V neckline. So it allows me to show off my favorite necklaces. But again, it creates a good balanced look because it is a bit of an oversized top. Now this exact black top by frame is not available anymore, but there is one by frame that's very similar that I will be linking down below. And then also that white top I had on earlier, by Aster, the $55 top does come in black. So you could pair that top in black with this look to create the exact same outfit. Then I just did the A Gold E D shorts, the black version, because I wanted to create an all black look with this really cool ivory straw hat. I added the snake print belt and then some gold slides. These are, I think, by Valentino as well, but they are sold out, I think, in this gold metallic color. But Mark Fisher makes an amazing gold metallic slide. That's They're under $100, so I will link them down below. I think they would look fabulous with any of these short outfits that I've featured in today's video. In fact, they're so amazing. I think I'm going to grab my mom a pair of them for Mother's Day, and I'm just hoping that she, she will absolutely love them. Okay, tip number seven is that you can wear your cutoffs to the beach or to the pool as like a cover-up. So I think there's nothing more chic than wearing your cutoffs to the pool or to the beach or to the lake, and you can even dress them up. So what I did here, I have on a black bikini. This black bikini is super affordable, like each piece is under $50. I did a swimsuit and cover-up video not long ago, so if you're in need of a really cool swimsuit, I will link that video down below as well, or a cover-up. But I did wear this exact look out to the uh, pool last weekend when I was there with my girlfriends. I went to the Lake Austin Spa and it was amazing. But these are the A Gold E cutoffs. They're a little bit shorter. They're called the Parker. They're not the longer version of the Parker. They're the regular version of the Parker. So they're a bit too 
too short. I don't think I would wear these shorts like out to eat or out to lunch or something like that. But I would wear them to the pool because I have on a swimsuit underneath them. And I did size up, I think at least one or two sizes in these shorts because again, I wanted them to be bigger because I certainly don't want my shorts to be too tight. Then I just did an oversized white button down, but instead of tucking it in, I tied it at the waist, kind of creating a, a very effortless and unique poolside look. I did do the same gold slides, my go-to ivory straw hat by Rag & Bone. This exact hat isn't available, but there is one at Anthropology that literally looks identical and it's like $60, so what a great deal. I honestly live in my ivory straw hat in the summertime, so if you don't already have one, I would highly recommend it. So another way to wear cutoffs poolside is to just wear them over a bikini. This is a very simple leopard bikini. I did the A Gold E D cutoffs. These are the same high-waisted cutoffs I had on earlier. And then I did that black dress that I talked about earlier. I unbuttoned it, wore it as more of a kimono, and then I added the ivory hat and the gold slides. So I think this would be an extremely chic look to wear at poolside. You wear it to the beach. Maybe you're going to a resort. You're going on vacation soon. I think this would be a fabulous look to wear while you're on vacation as well. Okay, the last tip, the one we've all been waiting for, is to always wear the Charlotte Tilbury model um, bronzing lotion when you wear your shorts. This lotion is amazing, ladies. It is phenomenal. So every time I wear shorts, I wear this on my legs because it gives them the most beautiful, luxurious bronzing sheen. It is just amazing. I love it. In fact, Charlotte Tilbury uses this on all the supermodels and um, the Victoria's Secret fashion shows, they all use this because it is that good. You can put it all over your body. So when I do go on vacation, I also take this with me. I put it all over my arms and legs. It's just beautiful, it's nourishing, but it also just gives your body this really beautiful bronzing, you know, color. Now it is not a self tanner, so you could add a few of, you know, I like to use the um, Tan Lux drops. If you wanted to add a few Tan Lux drops into this, it would actually tan your body as well. But I always wear that on my legs when I wear shorts, when I wear dresses, and when I wear skirts, and it's actually my favorite summer beauty product. Okay, the look I wanna talk about featuring this tip is this outfit that I'm actually wearing right now. I did shed the jacket because I'm actually really hot, but it is this green Tula Rosa tank. It's from Revolve. It comes in white as well, and it comes in a really beautiful blush pink color, but it's very comfortable. I love the sexy neckline, how it's sort of cut in on the shoulders. Then I topped it with this amazing ivory jacket by A Gold E. Again, it is an oversized jacket, sort of creating that balanced silhouette because I do have on these amazing A Gold E D shorts. These again are the high-waisted shorts, they're my favorite cutoff. So if you only add one pair of shorts from this edit, I would recommend these because they're a little bit longer than your average denim shorts. And again, they're very high-waisted, having like a 12-inch rise. I did this ivory belt with a gold buckle. Now this belt is not available anymore. I don't think this exact belt, but Express has a really cool white belt, like an ivory slash white belt that does have a gold buckle that would look great with this outfit. And then I did the gold slides. And so this is just an easy look, like very casual, very simple. You could wear it basically anywhere and be comfortable and look incredibly chic. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite tip was. Also let me know what your favorite way is to wear shorts. And for more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you guys have an amazing day because you deserve it. So until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.